Hi there. How's your money? We're back again with yours truly, Cryptoella. In today's video, we're going to talk about Visa and NFT. Visa is the latest major company jumping into the NFT craze. Visa has bought a female CryptoPunk for around $150,000 in Ethereum, taking a step into non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, as it seeks to learn more about the burgeoning market. The sale was hardly the most ever paid for one of these avatars, 10,000 of which were created in 2017 by Larva Labs, a software development firm, and then given away for free. These avatars subsequently have traded for millions, with people such as advertising executive Gary Vaynerchuk buying and selling them. In June, Sotheby's sold one for $11.8 million, including the premium. Now, the cheapest available CryptoPunk is listed for 67.67 Ether, or about $225,000, according to Larva Labs. The credit card and payments powerhouse said Monday it purchased CryptoPunk 7610, a female punk with a mohawk, lipstick, and green-rimmed clown eyes. CryptoPunks, of which 10,000 have been minted, are considered to be the original NFTs. CryptoPunk 7610 is one of 3,840 female punks. An NFT, which stands for non-fungible token, is a unique digital asset designed to represent ownership of a virtual item. Unlike Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, NFTs can't be exchanged like for like with another NFTs. Proponents say this makes NFTs scarce, driving up their value. NFTs have often been compared to physical collectible items, like rare trading cards and works of art. Visa is one of several financial institutions in the past year to lend legitimacy to the crypto world, actions that have helped fuel Bitcoins rise to nearly $65,000 in April. In March, Visa said it would experiment with using a type of cryptocurrency to settle transactions. It has worked with Anchorage Digital Bank, a federally chartered digital asset institution. Anchorage sold the CryptoPunk to Visa on behalf of a third-party seller, the company said. Huey Sheffield, head of crypto at Visa, said that they think NFTs will play an important role in the future of retail, social media, entertainment, and commerce. To help Visa's clients and partners participate, they would need a first-hand understanding of the infrastructure requirements for a global brand to purchase, store, and leverage an NFT. Sheffield also said CryptoPunks have become a cultural icon for the crypto community. He also said Visa wanted to signal its support for the creators, collectors and artists who are developing NFT commerce, as well as to collect an NFT that symbolizes the excitement and opportunity of this particular cultural moment. Sheffield further compared NFTs to the early days of e-commerce, in which small businesses were empowered to sell online and reach customers worldwide. Visa stated that it can envision a future in which their client's crypto address becomes as important as their mailing address. Following the news of Visa's purchase, a further 90 CryptoPunks NFTs were snapped up in the next hour for combined sales of around $20 million. As of 1750 Universal Time coordinated on Monday, 293 CryptoPunk NFTs had been sold for almost $77 million up from just 39 sold for $8.4 million on the entire day on Sunday, according to data from CryptoSlam. Following Visa, several big firms have been experimenting with and joining the NFT craze lately. Meanwhile, a number of media publications, including CNN, The New York Times and Fortune magazine, have sold NFTs of their own. But some critics are skeptical of NFTs. While such tokens represent a digital certificate of ownership, buyers don't own the underlying item, and internet users can still view the associated media online. Some people have even stolen other artists' work and gone on to sell them as NFTs. So in short, that is all the news regarding our beloved Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies today, straight away from yours truly, the Cryptoella. Before you leave, Make sure you click the like button, share the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe so you may get notified on our latest videos. Have a great one, and bye!